Hello everyone, I'm Herr Mokolover, and thank you for joining me here in Germany, a very democratic country thus far under Konrad Adenauer. So, last time, like I said, we became a democracy. Or at least democratic, with the Zentrum Party. Now, we're currently trying to build up our forces to make sure that everyone becomes democratic. And we're also trying to get a lot of training for our navy, building up our experience with that. Last time we also sent an attache to China to help them out, because even though we don't necessarily like China too much, maybe we do, maybe we don't, but what we don't like is the aggressive nature of the Japanese fascists, nationalists, something like that. Cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. So, right now, let's take a look. No one has upgrades. Um, oh, Von Klug, no. Monstein, didn't think so. Cool. So, that being said, I did ask last time whether, what type of tanks I should go down. And, for right now, I am going to go down the path of the heavy tank. We can get the gross tractor, but I'm going to wait. Panzer twos are good enough for now. I will get to the tiger tank, you know, as soon as I relatively can. But then I shall make another decision. And we shall try to use the mouse, the Panzerkampfwagen. Noin Mouse. That would be an amazing thing to have. Nothing says democracy like a super heavy tank. Beautiful. So right now, we could realize European unity in time, which means we need Luxembourg, you know, the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Italy, and of course all of us, in which I get a lot of cores, which looks like a very starter European Union. But we are currently doing the treaty with the USSR, because even though they may be communists, we can still... Talk to them about stuff. Reduce ahead of time penalty by two years and give a 100% research bonus valid for one of the following technologies, which is really for, you know, medium tanks, but whatever. Um, yeah, just come over here. Lots and lots of infantry. That's going to be very, very important. The Fourth International, a number of communist delegates from the, around the world met in Paris today for the founding of a conference. Uh, laying the groundwork for what is known as the Fourth International Calls for Formation has, exi has existed for years, with supporters of Trotsky's theories taking uh, the lead. Mm, what do I want to research first? Panzers. It's a hundred... Six hundred... That's all. Oh, that's like two years, man. But we do have quite a bit of time. We'll get 1941 heavy tanks in 1940. Cool. Stalin. Uh, uh, St Stalin for time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, has responded to the growing support for Trotskyism abroad by ordering additional assassinations and increasing propaganda against his old rival. With the past purges list of suspected Trotskyites in the high ranks of the Soviet military and leadership in the recent memory, this is unlikely to be met with any sort of resistance. But how many internationals will there be? So right now, let's go ahead and grab a little bit more steel. And we have done the treaty with the USSR. Army Innovations 2... That looks really good, because I want to do our land doctrine as fast as possible. But what can we do over here? We'll work against Bolshevism. Yeah, I don't want to piss off the USSR just yet. Uh, well, actually... Yeah, I don't have to do anything with them. So I can piss them off as much as I want right now. Good. Glorious. So, a Central European Alliance. Membership. No Reds in Western Europe. Danubian, ooh, membership. Expansion, no Balkan communism. Scandinavian membership? Interesting, interesting. Atomic research. Ooh, more equipment stuff. I'm joined here by my cat, Herr Binky, R&D research program. Bulwark against Bolshevism. More output, the Great Red Menace. Uh, we get more democracy. Yeah, let's do this one first. So, our nation stands. As a shield against Bolshevism, protecting the West from communism's influence, we must carry this mantle with pride and prepare to use arms if necessary. Exactly. If necessary. Alright, hello? You okay, Bink? You like the sunshine? Soviet accepts the German-Soviet treaty. Our negotiations with the Soviet Union has been successful. An agreement has been reached where our nations will aid each other in the development of new armored units with a possible extension to other research areas in the future. I'll uh, get a double bonus to armor technology. Which... Um... Maybe I should have waited for this. Nah. We'll get that double bonus for later. 
river processing. Very nice. Very nice. 1938 still. We still have five research slots that we can use, so I'm not really worried about that. We could go for Panzer 3s, but then we'd have to wait for Panzer 4s, and that's not fun. Who wants to wait for Panzer you know, 4s? Uh, artillery, industry... Oh, encryption. Don't want to forget encryption, and then we will get Excavation 1 next. Glorious. So we're currently getting just a little bit more air XP from China. Getting a little bit more army XP from ourselves and China. And then maybe mostly just naval XP from ourselves. Probably not too much from China. Next up... Oh... Build... Uh, oh, oops. Didn't mean to click that. Pause it. Air Doctrine. We're doing an operational integrity. I could be doing more stuff with my navy. But I'm going to wait. Is there anything that's really pressing right now that must get done? Amphibious tanks. Probably not. Um, well, we're playing as the good old German democracy. So, we're probably going to need to keep an eye on our... Manpower. I think. Hey, there you are. You okay? Yep. And it looks like we have quite a bit of political power. Yeah, I got sunshine, huh? Cool. Uh, tanks. I don't think this retroactively goes onto it. Well, but I'll show it for you. So we have 641 days. And if I throw on a tank designer right now. Armor. Uh, I usually choose Henschel. Let's try Porsche. 641 days. Oh, it does apply retroactively. That's actually kind of cool. So I sped it up by almost 20 days. Very nice. Yeah? You know what I mean? Oh, integrated support. Very good. Let's get regimental combat teams. Hey, hey. Come on. That's your chair, Bink. Alright, 151 factories, not bad. We're starting to produce some major military factories, which is very, very good. I will go ahead, though, and throw in at least one thing of synthetic refineries. It is 1938, so we really should be focusing a lot more on military factories, but that's okay. We have time, and we're not really pressed for anything at the current moment. In time, I will want to add in a few more t pieces of towed artillery. Now, we've got to keep an eye on chromium. Where we do not have a lot of chromium right now. And these tanks will require some chromium. So we might need to trade for some of that later on. I mean, yeah. Very good, very good. How is the Air Force? It's not very large, it's actually fairly small. But it it exists. It exists. That is the best we can say about our Air Force. And we're trying to build up... Oh. Alright. Well, my cat is having a, a time. Yeah, we want to build up carriers and a super heavy battleship. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Turkey. I will trade you two for that. That should at least give us a, almost enough for this. That's not bad, then. Um, if we need to build stuff after this... Probably more fuel silos. And then even more military factories. Good. We will never run out of things to produce. Ah, the Mexican Junta was annexed. Ah, what a shame. U.S., what are you up to? Air War Plans divisions. They went with the Neutrality Act. The United Kingdom went with the Reinforce the Empire, Commonwealth Ties. They're going pretty historical. Maybe we will ally. Ah, oh, bulwark against Bolshevism. I could do coal liquidization. That would be actually kind of beneficial. Actually, doing uh, Reich's Autobahn would be beneficial as well. We could align Hungary and Romania. That could be very good, but I want to see how far we can go down with this tree first. So, the Great Red Menace. Our actions in the previous war are still in recent memory with many. We must refocus the fears of the continent on the true danger. The great communist threat that looms in the east. We will begin a massive propaganda campaign to open the eyes of the continent. Ah, uh, the great Rota menace. And, of course, we might have a little menace on our western border as well. Uh, that's where they get the Spanish Civil War intervention after the Spanish Civil War is already over. Like, But then again, they were just kind of waiting for me. Uh, at that point, you know, let's get some more construction. Nice. More infantry. Just pour on the infantry. 
I'm gonna need a lot of infantry to help hold the line. A lot of them. Uh, good. Good job. Building up another army. Can I throw on anything else? This is not bad. I never use anti-air. Never use it. Maybe I'll throw. Maybe I'll use it in this campaign. Eventually. Eventually, I probably will. Let's go ahead and get some dispersed industry. That's gonna be important. You guys come up here. We're gonna need some more oil. Ah, I no longer get the effects of rebuilding the nation. What a shame. What a true shame. We lost all that extra construction stuff. Ah. Uh, oh well. Things happen. So, what are we looking for now? Improved work conditions. We're doing pretty well. I believe I might just institute press censorship. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Ah, even more divisions. Thank you for joining the uh, uh, Bundes here. I think it's Bundes here, yes. Wehrmacht, what's a Wehrmacht? It's Bundes here. Bundes here. Ah, another factory, good. There are more guns. We need a lot of guns for a ton of infantry. In time, though, I don't have enough factories to really produce everything I really want. We need some more of this, though. I promise you that. Ah, false rotation, good. It's almost 1939. Let's go ahead and start producing some other stuff. Screw it. Advanced machine tools. Yes, exactly. Ships, go ahead and repair if you need it. I'm not against you repairing whatsoever. Actually, that'll save us on fuel. Good. Limited conscription. You having a good time, Bink? You're biking. You're biting my sweatshirt. Oh, what a weird German cat. What a weird German cat. Not bad. We're only on limited conscription, which is fine for now. Um, I don't want to set up any front line against any particular any, any nation because that is very aggressive and we are democracy loving Germans and we don't want to be too aggressive I mean I mean, we were aggressive in the past and the Miras Moors faction was founded because of that so but anyways let's go ahead and institute press censorship because nothing says democracy like censorship very good we get about 1.27 political power a day not bad we, know, we need Erwin von Witzleben. Erwin? Irvin. Probably Irvin. Mm, yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, actually, Pact of Rome formed. Interesting. The respective governments of Austria, Italy, and Hungary issued a joint statement announcing the formation of the Pact of Rome. The three powers have vowed to aid each other militarily before uh, and defensively and offensively should the need arise. The balance of power in the region has changed dramatically or drastically overnight. And, of course, Germany is calling out the Soviet Union. But let us have the Central European Alliance. Now that we have focused the attention of the continent on the problem, we must offer the solution. We will lead an alliance for all minor nations in Europe, which will ensure protection against this most lethal threat to our way of life, and which we create our own faction, which we get Sweden, Luxembourg, and Finland, and we remove their neutral foreign policy. A Central European Alliance. So... Indian National Congress, Prime Soviet announced large-scale exercises. So, what they, it's in response to increasingly hostile German rhetoric. There's a large amount of military exercises. <clears throat> so, this heightened state of readiness will discourage the Germans from continuing on their slanderous tirade, according to spokesmen of the Soviet government. Interesting. Oh, and there goes Siam. Wow, this is really turning out very weird. The Allies are there. Which is pretty normal. The Pact of Rome with Ethiopia. Of course, we have the, you know, Japanese. The Meet Moors. And then we have the Pact of Rome. Wild. Absolutely wild. Yeah, the U.S. just kind of there. Ah, they're disarmed still. Good. Army of Aggression. Okay. Italy, you are doing Albanian occupation. Yugoslavia. What is Yugoslavia doing? Like, doing petition... Potentially traditional of values. Greater Yugoslavia. I need to play as Yugoslavia someday. I have yet to play as them. Um, what's going on next? So, actually, another quick look at them real quick. They can do... They will... Actually, they can go to either one. Concessions for Macedonians. Crush the Utsutasa. We have field hospitals. Happy 1939, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's get some more artillery. Even though I really should do guns first. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I really should do guns first. Holy cow. Uh, the bulwark against Bolshevism. What? Are you upset that I didn't choose to research guns instead of artillery pieces so far? Come on, Bink. Oh, very good. 
more fighters, get as many fighters in there as possible. Keep doing naval XP because, well, there will be a time when we can probably not train all the divisions that we really want. Good, good. Central European Alliance. With Wilhelm III still exerting some sort of influence within our government. He's more of a monarchical figurehead. Yeah, cool. So, uh, is the Soviets doing anything in response to those trainings? Officers purged, which is okay. Millet, oh. They can produce a lot more soldiers. They get a little bit more output. That's actually not too bad. It's only until 1940, so that's not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Not bad. Uh, uh, even more infantry. Now, these guys, if you don't know, they're 20 combat width. They're just infantry. They're quite literally just infantry. Which is okay. I'm going to ruin my manpower right now, though. And throw on some field hospitals because I believe that they will really, really need them. Uh, yeah, I ruined my support equipment. That's actually really not good. Go ahead and do that, too. Good. We're, we're producing. Manguko issues a diplomatic protest. Well, I don't care about you. You're not very nice, Manguko. Why can't we just work together? Why do you have to kill your fellow Chinese man? Right, Pink? You understand. Ah, Germany announces Central European Alliance. The Central Powers are back. Germany has continued on their recent anti-Soviet rhetoric and have now developed a concrete plan to curb Soviet influence in the rest of the continent. A new alliance, the Central European Alliance, has been formed and with time will hopefully be able to provide its members with protection against what Germans call unbridled Soviet aggression. Beautiful. Now, I've been focusing a lot on the right side of the tree here, and I do want to do this a little bit more. Ooh. Central European research. Huh. Scandinavian membership. It's 1939. Poland might get into a war soon. So I think I have to get to Poland quickly. So, Scandinavian membership. Mountains and the cold are no protection against the Red Menace. The Scandinavians must know this. We shall offer them membership and protection against the threat of communi communism. Okay, Soviets ramp up military buildup. In response to the recent German announcement uh, to the creation of the U Central European Alliance, there goes Zog, uh, the Soviet government has passed measures to see the drastic speed up of military production. A spokesman of the Kremlin made it clear, in no uncertain terms, that the Soviet Union cannot sit by and watch this threat unfold at their borders. Measures to counter it must be, and have been taken at once. That was fast. Holy cow, Republican Spain. I don't know... Yeah, that was fast. That was actually extremely fast. Um... Common term, a Central European alliance, we're all by ourselves. Metamores, eh, there's the Great Red Menace, which is good. Um, it's unfortunate that they went this way instead of going with liberalism. Drawing closer to Britain, if only, if only. But in the current time, let's go ahead and stop training our ships because we are running out of fuel and you never know what might happen. Uh... I must keep an eye on bo oh, basically all my borders. Really, the ones with France, Austria, who is in a faction with the fascist Italians. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? They might join the fascist team. They're pretty fascist themselves. Hungary's pretty fascist. Uh, and France has gone in that direction, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, 1939. Let's get some better guns, though. MP38s in 1939. Hmm. Yeah, I should not have done this. Uh, go ahead and take the ones off the tanks for now. That's okay. Uh, boost this up by five. And take off artillery. We have a good enough stockpile of artillery now. We have dispersed industry, which is good. We could do more extraction. Uh, that's good. We could do this, but I don't really need to do it. Um, I think I'm going to do some a little bit more entrenchment. That sounds glorious. We have artillery pieces. Good. Better artillery pieces. Let's get some radar, which I still need to build up. Towed artillery, thank you very much. And I'm trying to build up a lot more fuel refineries. Okay, okay, well, so be it. Yeah, keep doing that. Oh, we're gonna need more motorized. Oh my goodness, yeah, we're gonna need a lot more motorized. Do that. We're gonna need more rubber too. Ooh, tungsten. Good, I'll trade that instead for some rubber. Scandinavian membership. Actually, that would probably put me to war with the Soviets pretty early on if they go to war with the Finns. New Soviet man. 
Well, oh, good. Can I increase my conscription level? I cannot. I have to be fascist or communist, or be at war. Oh boy, that's not good. That's really not good. Um, IG fired have been. At least China's holding out for now. At least that's good for now. Still get a lot of their army XP, advanced machine tools, very nice. Let's get some fuel refining, that'll be important. More fuel gain per oil and from refineries. So right now, we're not doing so well in oil. We're not doing very well militar militarily at all, and I can't speak today for some reason. It's probably because I'm recording this a little bit earlier than normal, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, if that's the case, go ahead and train. Some, some of you guys are really green. And I'm actually glad I put those field hospitals on those divisions because... Oh, I'm going to lose a lot of manpower, probably. My army's just not up to snuff. We had a civil war, and it takes time for us to recover. Unlike Republican Spain, who ended their civil war later than us, and yet still joined the... Communist faction. Ah, uh, France. Oh, oh, they're still limited navally. Interesting. Sweden accepts invitation to the Central European Alliance. Good. Henceforth, we shall stand or fall together. We shall defend democracy. Denmark joins. Norway joins as well. A glorious move. Next. Let us get Polish membership. The Poles have much to distrust all neighbors for, but they know the greatest threat emanates from the East. We shall offer them membership and protection from the threat of communism. Absolutely. We have just expanded our faction. Uh... Cool. Oh, Finland isn't in the faction. That's interesting. But we do have most of the regular Scandinavian countries, which is good. At least we have allies. We have allies, which is awesome. You okay, Bing? Why are you standing up? Oh, there goes Shang Z or something like that. Uh, we have not joined any sort of economic union, I believe, just yet, which kind of sucks, but whatever. That's fine. At least we can say we have some sort of allies. And if needed, we can finally get Sweden into a war. Oh, oh, God, no. That's not bueno. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. That's not good either. Uh, they have a liberty ethos, as does Sweden. Clamp down on fascism, that's okay. As does Denmark. Ah, uh, I've got the countries in the faction that have almost no manpower. Glorious. Uh, actually, this will be interesting. Will Poland accept membership? Because if they join us... Then they might... Then they, Actually, this would be a fairly formidable force. If the Poles join us. Now, we, of course, would like Danzig and some other territories. But that is old Germany. That is the old, old Germany. Oh, goodness. We still need more of this and this. Oh. Oh, yeah. We definitely need a lot more of that. Uh, that it? A potential Mountaineer Division? You might as well. No. No. You are being aggressive. We don't like aggressive people like you. Mountaineers, 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 uh, let's see, organization is 55, what if I throw on this, that's not bad, still 48 isn't terrible, um, 51, that's not bad, let's, let's make a special type of Mountaineer division, field hospitals, yes, yes, and then yes, thank you, very good. We get 0 0.085 army XP a day from that stuff. Uh, how are my ships looking? Is anyone injured? No, we have <clears throat> not quite a good enough ratio from capital ships to screens. I need four more screens. But I think I'm only producing capital ships now, which isn't very smart, but whatever. Oh, I still got two here. Oh, I need more chromium. Oh, regimental combat teams. Very good. We will definitely need those. Let's get some mechanized offensive, some more tank breakthrough. That'll be important very, as well. Planes, we are slowly getting just a tiny bit more air XP. Japan is going to town on the Chinese. Okay. Actually, it's not a bad amount of losses for Japan. Especially seeing as China, even though they're taking a lot more. That's still quite a bit of damage done. But it's kind of weird when China almost has roughly the same amount of manpower as uh, Japan. Hmm. Wait, are any of these guys... Ah... Oh! Holy cow. Okay, so Poland rejects to offer the offer to join the Central European Alliance. Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria. We asked them. We wanted to help them, but they said no. Oh, these puppets aren't even in the war against Japan. That's not good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's not good. Um. I could do Finnish membership, but, uh. 
I don't know, man. Baltic membership? I could have done that, maybe. Requires all of the following. Oh, this is not good. Hold on. I know I need to do my focus still. They're at war. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have one massive border with the Soviets. If that's the case, I could ask Austria and Czechoslovakia. Get the low countries, no reds, and Western Europe. The Nubian expansion. That would be good. But I think I need to keep doing some of this at least a little bit. Let's do a vest wall, because I don't know what the France the French are doing. The West Wall of Vestval runs parallel to France's vaulted Maginot line, occupying much of the same ground as a Siegfried line did in the previous Weltkrieg. Fortifying its defenses will allow us to uphold or hold the border with fewer men, freeing up divisions to participate in any potential eastern campaign. And we're gonna actually need Fritz Todd, because I'm gonna have to build some some forts over here. For the love of God, Poland, I hope you hold out. Can I send you... I can't send volunteers. Can I send an attache? Yes. In which they get more organization, more planning speed. You know what? I think that's worth it. Oh, well, Romania might get called in too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because they're guaranteeing the Polish. Oh, boy. You know what? I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I need more divisions, but I'm trying to get support companies out. Ah. Oh, I'm going to need more motorized too. That's not good. Oh, but I got some destroyers. Nice. Just weaken the Soviets as much as possible, guys. They are still suffering, though, from officers purged. Even though they are slowly getting rid of that. Hold out, guys. Hold out. Oh, the Baltic states probably aren't going to do well either. Oh, the Poles. You had a chance. I could have helped you out. Together, we could have stopped the, the red invasion. Uh, okay, so... Okay, you guys can stop doing that. We're done re-establishing free elections. Um, I'm going to put you up here. I'm going to start immediately forming an army in Königsberg, Prussia. East Prussia, Königsberg, all the good stuff. Uh, what are the losses like so far? Soviet-Lithuanian War, just like what happened about 20 years ago. 79,000 versus 82,000, that's not good. The Soviets are actually winning with less casualties probably right now. Alright, we got you guys. The Great Struggle in the East. Alright, you guys, we're going to need good, good, good field marshal for this. Ah, uh, Wilhelm List. Oh, I can't, oh, I don't have enough command power, wow. Do that. I need you guys to come to him. Uh, command power? Base gain from current max. Holy cow. Oh, that's that's just because I had sent attaches to, every, to other people. Maybe that was a mistake, but China's going to fall eventually. 1939, this is not good. Europe is on fire. Um, now, I'm not causing the fire, but uh, it's going to have some severe implications for what happens in the future. Severe implications. Ooh, yeah. That's good to do. Uh, we're doing well on this. I'm going to need more of this. Let's go ahead and produce a few more military factories, which we are doing, and then some more refineries. That's going to be important. Oh, but my Eastern. This. I don't have enough divisions. Oh, better radar, though. That'll help maybe a little bit. Um, fuel. Some more fuel. How much more do we need? We need more motorized, really. Yeah, that's all we need right now. More motorized. Do that. Lower you by five. That'll be good enough. We have more than enough here now. Uh, 13 a day? I'll lower this by three. That should be good and balanced. That should be pretty darn balanced, because I need more divisions right now. Um, artillery is coming. Well, we have enough artillery. This is okay. I'm going to train one of these bad boys. Okay, maybe two. Well, Poles, you got to hold out. you got to hold out. Just don't attack them. Let them into your lands and kill them then. Yeah, it's pretty even, to be honest with you. Even the Poles are just losing a little bit more. But if anything... Oh, are there Italians here? Okay. Italy, good luck. It looks like they don't have a lot of equipment. Maybe? The Soviets might not. Just because they have... Oh, that's so much manpower. Oh, my gosh. The Bulls just sold out, man. What's their manpower like? It's not bad. It's not bad. It could be better. Pen 8 incident. 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 Uh, yeah, I don't think they're really running out of equipment. The Poles are slowly losing their war. Just like the Chinese. They've been invaded in the south as well, which isn't good. Oh, the Estonia wasn't at war? Oh, good, we got the West Wall. 
Good, 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 good. I feel a little better, even though I still have no divisions over there. Next up, just in case, let's get the Low Countries. You never know what might happen. So, ah, so far removed from the eastern border of Europe, the Low Countries nevertheless knew that if Central Europe falls, they shall be next. We shall offer them membership so they may stand with us against the threat of communism and potential fascism as well. Which actually means I have to extend my border against the French as well. Oh, they sent volunteers to France. Okay, I'm okay with that. They don't have a lot of manpower, which is good. Oh, they're guaranteeing the independence of Finland. Hmm. Interesting move. Now, the Danish... The Danish? The Danish are already in here. The Dutch, the Belgians, and the Luxembourgish folks. They will probably join us. You know, we're democracies. They'll probably join us. They probably won't join the Allies, since the Allies are not really doing anything either. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What just happened? Finnish membership backpass. National France joined the Pact of Scheisse. Finland joined the Meeting Moors because Finland... Oh, no. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a second. So, Finland joined the Meeting Moors, which is okay. But, we just saw that France was guaranteeing the independence of Finland, and now they're at war with the Soviets. Which means they'll eventually be at war with the Republican Spanish, which means... I need to deploy an army really quickly. Oh, but I just did that. Don't do that. Tinter Palmer will be okay. Uh, you know, go back and do that. Mm, I'm going to pull you off for now, just in case. I do not trust what the AI might do. Do that. And just in case, I don't want to pull any divisions off over here. So, I want all of you to form a fallback line, just in case the Soviets break the Polish lines. We have to be ready. For anything that happens. Oh, but there's an army down here we might have to take out as well. I need more divisions. <laughs> I need more divisions, man. That's okay, though. War propaganda? Well, we're all doing okay already. Bulwark against Bolshevism. Low countries. Even though it's only the low countries... Uh, they still have a few divisions, right? They've got a tiny amount of manpower, a few divisions. We have Belgium with a few divisions, a little bit of manpower. And the the might and the beast that is Luxembourg with a total whopping of a single division. No, my goodness. Spain. Oh, this is not good. This is... The, Europe's on fire. And you know what? Germany didn't cause it. But unfortunately, that's all the time for that we have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. For I know I did because this is getting really weird. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Perhaps subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link uh, in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we are will begin to put in plans to defend ourselves and defend Europe from fascism, communism, and spread democracy all around. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great, great day.